Now, what you get when you win a Lemon Law case usually comes down to one of three possible options or remedies. Option one is that they might provide you with a replacement vehicle. Option two is that they might offer you a refund or what is called a Lemon Law buyback. Options three, I will discuss option three a little later on in this video, and it is an important option you should know about as well with some real lemon juice. So let's start with the first remedy. Option one is that they can provide you with a replacement vehicle, which means you can basically trade your car in for a different vehicle, but there are some important things you should know about this option. The replacement vehicle should be a vehicle of similar value. The replacement vehicle should usually also be a vehicle from the same manufacturer with similar MSRP cost. It's crazy that many times, even though you really don't like dealing with that dealership, you might have to get a second car from the same manufacturer, even though they have lied to you and given you the runaround or given you a hard time. But there is another option with this as well, because year after year, the cost of vehicles might go up and the new vehicle might cost more. That price jump can make it difficult to get a car with the same MSRP price. Even though your car was a lemon, you might still have to pay that extra cost for the new and now more expensive vehicle. Thankfully, there is option two, which allows you to get a refund through a lemon lot buyback. But one of the problems with a buyback is that sometimes you might have to have a trade-in vehicle and you might have still been required to pay more money on that trade-in vehicle. And when you got your new car, the dealership might have rolled over the amount you still were supposed to pay on your previous vehicle into the calculation of your new vehicle. In other words, you might have been upside down on the finances of your new vehicle. So sometimes you need to pay for that difference in order to get out of the car. And a lot of people find it extremely weird that they have to pay money in order to get out of the defective vehicle. But many times that's how it works. Now in a lemon law buyback, if you get a lemon law buyback, you usually get back what you paid. You may have bought the vehicle in a one lump sum all at once, or you more than likely had a finance or lease plan. What you usually get back is the money that you actually paid. Your hard earned money that actually left your pocket and went straight into the pockets of the manufacturers. So think about it for a second and try to calculate about how much you paid. Think about the down payment and also add up all of the monthly payments that you have made for your car so far. It can add up to a lot of hard earned money. In some cases, it can add up to $30,000 or more, but every case is different. Even though they accept that their vehicle is a lemon, many times the manufacturers still try to pinch pennies and also nickel and dime their customers. So they deduct certain fees during the negotiations, such as an offset for mileage for the portion of time that your vehicle did not have problems. Sometimes it is legal for manufacturers to deduct such things from the settlement you end up getting, but many times they may be doing so incorrectly or it might be taking away too much of your personal money. Having a powerful negotiator and experienced attorney by your side can be very helpful. In addition, most lawyers do not charge you out of your own pocket for their attorney's fees and court costs. Many attorneys only get paid if they win, and if they don't win, they just don't get paid anything. Lots of attorneys spend their own money on your case, and the attorney might never get the money back. But it may make sense for the lawyer to take that risk if you have a strong case. It reminds me of being a kid and selling lemonade and spending my piggy bank coins and quarters to make the lemonade, even though I was never sure if I would make my money back. But when I made amazing lemonade, everybody would want it. We would all be happier as a result. Option three is that sometimes a manufacturer might simply pay you a settlement in what is called a cash and keep procedure. That's when you keep the car, but you get paid some compensation for all of the headaches and defects the vehicle caused. Even if you don't have a clear lemon law case, the manufacturer might still make a good faith offer to settle the matter and get it off of their heads. In many situations, even though the settlement might be less than a full buyback of the vehicle, it might make sense for you to accept that offer depending on your goals. In addition, it's usually required that the problems happened while your car was under warranty or extended warranty. Even if you no longer have warranty, but your problems happened while your vehicle was under warranty, you might still have a case. However, without any warranty, you cannot have a lemon law case in most situations. However, you might still have some legal protections such as breach of contract, auto fraud, or something else. The founding attorney of the law firm, Jimmy Hanai, would love to speak to you. 
The consultation is completely free, and the team of lawyers can speak to you and review any documents you have for the vehicle, such as your vehicle purchase agreement and repair invoices. Call now for a completely complimentary and fully free consultation with an experienced lawyer. It's free to call 1-800-400-5050 day or night, seven days a week, or visit us at www.californialaw.com. Lawyers are waiting to speak to you and encourage you to call. This video is not legal advice. I am not an attorney. I'm a paid spokesperson. Attorney Jimmy Hanai is a lawyer in the state of California and handles California Lemon Law cases. There are no guarantees. This legal advertisement is by lawyer Jimmy Hanai of CaliforniaLaw.com.